And welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. This is Execute. Let's kick it off right where we left off. Too many offs in that sentence. Hmm. Chapter 3. Playing it. Harry Potter monster. I don't know how the fuck you actually pronounce it. Should look it up. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves or you get some wino downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squat plant? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. I love how it says hotel, just in case we didn't believe them. By the way, what the fuck is a junk spot plant? Uh, don't answer, it's one of them rhetorical questions. Anyway, this is the Finito brothers. They're not exactly hard. Especially since one just sits on his arsehole there with his shotgun, so you're free to take out the other one first. Alright, let's wrap this up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. These guys were a fucking... What else is A letter on the desk caught my eye. Yes, because after you murder two men, a letter's the first thing you say. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnidi. Gagnidi was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Well, I guess that's our next destination then. Bosses! Everything alright? I've got company! We're in. Have a grenade. <laughs> nice shirt, buddy. Guys, want buy that for you? When you pulled that out of the closet, did you come out with it? Does it come in men's? All right, I'll stop. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked, and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Oh, surprise, surprise! Otherwise, this wouldn't really be a stage, would it? Painkillers. Brings my total to four, half of my maximum capacity. I love these beds. Check this out. I, 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 I. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Well, to be fair to forensics, I did kind of put two shotgun shells in his fucking head after he was dead. So I guess I can see where that little, uh... Something's wrong with the bosses. Payne's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Payne's gonna pay in spades. What the hell? Happy for clubs. Where that little misconstrue happened. That guy's clutching his stomach, that means he's got fuck all health. Or maybe just a case of the screaming squits. 
For those of you who don't know what that is, that's diarrhea. Which you Americans can't spell. I just want to point that out. Now, let's the other two. I could keep doing the dive shit, but instead, I'm just going to do it the easy way. Stupid door friend. Yeah, you can actually make these gas canisters detonate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the one on the fucking... The one on the right. Gold plate. The one on the left. Cheap ass. No frills. Bought it from Franklin's. Whatever. Everyone's dead. Moving in. Boxes. My worst enemy. <gasps> Candy! God fucking damn it. It fell on the floor. Give me another one. I don't fucking want this candy now, it's contaminated! Some hobo probably pissed there. Hey. I know I'm a cop, but does this count as breaking and entering? I honestly wouldn't know. Dad ass! Uh, I should probably pull a crew save here, because I haven't yet. Oh, that, 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 that is some fucking badass. <laughs> uh, at least there's never gonna be a fire in this building. Fuck your no smoking shit! I'll smoke where I want. And now, in all new episode of Lords and Ladies, just here to liberate your TV. By Acer Corporation. They call me the Repo Man. I'm just kidding. Nobody actually calls me that. What? No, fuck that. How did that happen? I put like ten Beretta shots in his skull. Oh, fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah. Ceiling gets to piss on me again. I hope you're proud of yourself. There was nothing in there. Lady Amelia. Yeah, fucking piss off. I want to watch this TV show. Thank you, Lawrence. And you too. Lord. And there's two of them. See what I did there? Alright, time to watch the telly. Lords and ladies. Love the show. Seriously, I'd recommend it to all my friends. It's like a Renaissance Jersey Shore. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves, blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, oh silver my lord, you should not speak so. But my lady, I must, I must. My this lord, guy's no, obviously a pickup artist. You. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long lost sister! Uh, oops. Alright, give me a drink. Okay, no. I was promised a bottle, not an impersonation painkiller. Fuck you! All you vending machines now die from here on in. You can spooge all over that guy for all I care. Fuck the no smoking rule, I've already got a cigarette lit. Let's proceed. V head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. It's true, they can. He's just gonna he's just gonna fucking sit there pyring about the flesh of fallen angels. Check it out, we got a syringe full of the V energy drink. Anyway, they said he had to, he said he had to be careful, so I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and just make him unable to fucking go off without a warning. He might find it hard to go off without a warning when he's got a case of the dead. It's pain. Whoa. Well thank you for letting me know that you're there. And thank you for firing at the wall, let me know you're in that room. That's another one. One down. Nice pictures on the right. There he is. You little thugs can't stop me. 306. I think Mote's room number was 313. Fucking you die. You're an imposter. That ass. That, that ass is popular. Who needs crowbars? Let's just saw off shotgun it. Piece of crap! <laughs> oh, careful! It might kick back. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Kill a vending machine. You talking to me? <laughs> no, in fact, I wasn't talking to you. But thank you for acting like you're so fucking important, prick. Oh shit! This isn't going well. Get him, get him, get him. That was close, let me just loop my way through the doorway. Alright, fuck you. Moving on. Well, somebody left a shit box on. Anything in the closet? Ah, let's see what's on the shit box. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse 
as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. Wait, 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 wait. Repeated felon? I shot his corpse once! That shouldn't even make me a felon, really. Well, I guess that would make me a felon. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I missed the show. Well, obviously he died just by over-masturbation. Considering, considering the, what that bed's function is, that wouldn't be such a bad way to go. A donkey! Let's club him to death. Pro tip, I don't like junkies. I don't like junkies because, you know, because in the next room there's a fucking guy who shoots me in the back like a prick. That's some A plus pathing right there. Alright, I think I'll just stay here and shoot. Oh, shotgun. Wow, look how overpowered shotguns are in this game. The guy fucking took out half of us. And he probably wasn't even trying. Alright, let's do this right. Oh, well, other way. Sorry, my bad. You know what? If shotguns are so overpowered... Tell me why. Why can I not one-shot a junkie with one? I wanna know. I swear to god, the enemy shotguns are like five times stronger than yours. It's bullshit! Alright, one down. I'll just hip and scop and roll my way back into this room. Okay, this is going well. Another one bites the dust. There's Mr. Overpowered Gun. Okay, he's dead. Oh shit, two of that shotguns. Whew. How very Hollywood. Max, I think he's dead. Alright, let's mosey on along. Uh, blocked. Give me some candy. Ugh, fuck these fucking vending machines. That's terrible design. Do my laundry. I found Muerte's room. Ah, here we go. It's a trap! Yes, very clever. Muerte had received a letter. Why'd the music stop? Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Ah, there it goes. Okay, so... What did we learn from that letter? We learned there's painkillers on the table. Not really, I just knew they were there. Anyway, let's GTFO. Well, I see a wall I can destroy, and here's a bathroom. Let's go fucking take oh, a sh- Oh, shit! I don't want to hold it! I want to take a shit! Oh. Fucking fascist! And as for you, you could have just sat in the corner- Let's take the, uh, oddly aligned painkillers. You know what, you can just splooge a little- not over- oh, great, I got It's all in my fucking nostrils. Um, as I was saying, let me just break through this. That V-Junkie who just attacked me, the reason he attacked me is because I fired a shot. Which is honestly why I like to just club them to the point. Now, be very careful when you come out here because you can fall off. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Buff. Totonka. Nice little shout out to Buffy the game's got going here. Uh, let's head back out to the precarious window. Do not fall off this, otherwise you are dead. It's a two story three story drop, I don't know. Fucking pigs. What am I talking about? Max is a cop. Oh fuck. Which way am I supposed to go? Um uh, Bear with me folks, I <laughs> I'm trying to remember which fucking way I'm supposed to go next. Oh, right, just back this way. 
There we go. One down. You may notice I switch weapons frequently when I'm doing those little rolls. That's because it takes away from you having to reload. One of the nice little tricks of the game. Let's blow this up. Mmm, vandalism. God damn! I thought it was a bomb for sure! Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought it was a bomb! I'll make you wish it was a bomb. Can someone explain to me why half of the Yorkies in this game sound like they've got asthma and they're stuck in a room full of noxious gases and smoke? Don't blow up! Please don't blow up! Good big gas canister. Just don't don't blow up. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> Alright, what do I want to kill this sucker with? Nah, I'll save that Molotov. Yeah, I'll just eagle him. Molotovs, um, whether or not I fail as hard with them as I do with grenades, we'll have to wait and see. I guess we'll find out when I have my first opportunity to use one. Okay, this room is a storyline section, so let me just make sure I didn't miss anything first. Aha! Junk. Which I'm still unable to kill with one shotgun shot, and that kind of gives me the shits. And oh well. The hooker had left her diary on the table. Good for the hooker. Why does the hooker have porn in her room? Is she a lesbian hooker? Bisexual hooker? Mm -mm. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. I had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. I don't think so, Max. I think people who would go into this sort of business would be well protected. Surprising closet, which is actually a room. And there's the camera. Holy shit, VHS tapes. I remember these things when I was a kid. Three saves left. Uh, I guess we're going this way. You fucking prick. Tim, go get him. No, wait, you go get him. You go. You're all pussy cunts, I'll do it. Molotov, away. My ability to stay alive, away. Let's try this again. Oh, come out. There you are. Ugh. Look, I even started the fire extinguisher to put you guys out. Isn't that nice of me? Alright. Uh, this looks like a lovely dead end, so I guess we are going this way. The jelly Vader. You may descend. And I think that'll wrap up this video, so thanks for watching, this has been Execute, tune in next time.